All right. And next up, let's see. Best writing, I'm going to go ahead and have to give to Fantastic Four number 570. Uh, I just felt that Jonathan Hickman's uh, writing here was awesome. This is the kind of Fantastic Four that I think the world wants and needs. Uh, I just uh, I had a lot of hope going into this, and he definitely came through with the goods. Uh, thank you, Jonathan Hickman, and I look forward to a long run on this title from you. Um, you and Eagle Sham are killing it. Uh, so... I don't know, if, if you like the Fantastic Four to be a little more sci-fi than superhero, if you like them to be a little more adventurous than, you know, fighting other supervillains consistently, then this is what you want. Also, uh, Hickman does an amazing job here uh, with the wizard um, and, and getting a little story from him. Uh, very cool stuff with the wizard. You get to see a little bit with his family life. Um, just, just really cool. Uh, you get a lot with Reed and, and kind of what makes him tick coming from his father. Uh, so, overall, Jonathan Hickman, amazing job here. People pick it up. Uh, Fantastic Four. It, it is so much better than Miller's run. Uh, I am a Mark Miller fan. I want to state that, but his Fantastic Four was not for me. Much like I'm a fraction run and his Uncanny just isn't, isn't what I enjoy. Uh, but Jonathan Hickman here, this is a great Fantastic Four. Uh, so pick it up. Check it out. All right. And then for best writing this week, I am going to go ahead. Oh, I already did that. Ha ha ha. We already did best writing. We're on best art and bitch. Oh, no, we already did that too. Oh my god, what are we getting to? Oh, overall. All right, so best overall this week, I would have to go ahead and narrow down to three titles. I would say Fantastic Four 570 is a strong candidate. I would say, despite not getting named in any categories, Batman Robin 3 was a great title. And X-Force number 18 was a great title. Um, overall, uh, art, writing, everything was consistent. Uh, but I would have to say that the best of the best this week um, is going to have to be X-Force number 18. Uh, Yoss and Kyle uh, and, and Choi just kill it here. Uh, this is a great title. Uh, it's a title that a lot of people didn't have a lot of, um, didn't put a lot of, uh, how do you put it, a lot of support behind initially. Everybody's got claws and healing powers and they're, they're just a killer team and that doesn't work. But I think they've developed a great team here where people care. It's emotionally investing as well as violent, which is a great thin line that a lot of people walk but don't necessarily pull off. I think that's Austin Kyle's bread and butter. If you've read New X-Men, then you know that uh, they can definitely do uh, the whole pulling on your emotional heartstrings while killing a lot of fucking people. Um, even, even though sometimes it is needless, um, they do it in a way where the needlessness bleeds over quickly and efficiently into a nice, um, a nice pot of heartbreak, okay? Uh, it, they make you feel it, okay? Uh, there's killing characters, and then there's Kyle and Yoss who kill characters, and, and, and there's a payoff for it. Um, like, when they blew up all the fucking kids, you were like, what? They killed everybody? But then you really got to see the team go through the ringer and have to pull together, and it made those characters much stronger by narrowing the pool of characters down. Um, so now, I think instead of seeing characters that were developed, and so many of them, and, you know, if it would have stayed as many characters before they're all depowered and blown up, you would have seen, I would say, probably 95% of those characters just kind of fade out into obscurity anyway. So instead what you get is you get a sacrificing of a bunch of characters for a few characters, and now those few characters are popping up everywhere. You get Pixie, you've got uh, X-23, you've got Hellion, you've got all these characters um, who now are probably going to be a little more of a fixture in the Marvel Universe, at least in the X-Men neck of the woods. Um, so, uh, very happy to see that, and, and that's the line that X-Force walks as well, I think. I think they've carried, Kyle and Yoss, that is, have carried that over into this very well. Um, so, and, and they're bringing in these X-Force characters, so. We even get Wither coming back very soon here, and the Necrotia stuff, and we've all been waiting since New X-Men, uh, to find out what the hell's going on with Wither and Selene, so... Uh, starting to get to payoff, and that's another cool thing about X Force is there's a lot of plot threads here that are finally tying together, or new plot threads started, but you know they're going to pay off. It may not be in the same title, but if you follow follow Kyle and Yoss, they will pay off for you. Um, so, uh, I guess that's all I got to say. Best title of the week, uh, or of this 
best title for 11.2 because all these titles came out from different weeks. But overall, good stuff. All right, so uh, I think that wraps it up for episode 12. Uh, thanks for coming back and, and viewing what we've got here and what we've got to say. And again, when I say we, I mean my brain and I. Uh, so uh, if you have questions, send questions. We didn't get any questions this week, and uh, it worked out for this week. But next week looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller because I burnt through some stuff that's new too. Yes! Uh, hopefully next week we can get some trade paperbacks reviewed, uh, we're gonna get some comics reviewed, and hopefully maybe even touch on Batman Arkham Asylum, the video game. Very fun game, uh, so stay tuned next week, uh, for more information on any of those subjects, hopefully. Uh, format is always subject to change here in the Asylum due to time constraints and my brain going nutsies. Uh, so anyway, uh, all you inmates, keep on checking out, and if you feel like it, uh, spread the word about me. Go ahead and post stuff on message boards, YouTube, other videos. Do what you can. Let's get it out there. I, I just feel like we need to get more than 52 people in here. Let's get 100 people. If we get 100 viewers, that would be fantastic. Uh, and uh, those of you that have stuck around since the beginning, I will not forget. Thank you very much for supporting. And uh, again, stay tuned next week. And uh, peace.